Hi everyone and welcome back. In this lecture I'm going to be showing you an extension called Pear Deck, which is a fantastic extension for making your Google Slides interactive, both during your lessons, live lessons, and for asynchronous classes too. For those of you watching on YouTube, this video is actually part of a four hour course on Google Suite extensions and I'm currently giving a 50% discount on the course, so click on the link in the description if you'd like to watch it. Let's take a look at just a quick overview of Pear Deck. So as I said, you can make interactive PowerPoints for your students. Over here, uh, you've got two separate views here. The top view is my view, the teacher view, and the bottom view is what your student is going to see when you're presenting during the class or when they're doing it for homework. So as I said, you can use it in class for homework, for asynchronous classwork. And the great thing about this is as well, you can see responses to questions instantly. So if you're doing this during a live class and your student is drawing, you'll actually be able to see what your students are drawing in that moment. Another great feature of Pear Deck is that you can have teacher paced or student paced activities. So if it's teacher paced, you'll be doing a live lesson. And if it's student paced, you can choose that option for if they're doing it for homework or for an asynchronous class. And you've got tons of different questions and interactives to choose from. So they can draw something, they can drag and drop. They've got multiple choice questions. And I'll show you all of that now in the walkthrough. So let's take a look at how to work this then. So let's take a look at how to make this presentation interactive then. So what you need to do is download an extension called Pear Deck. So you can just do that by searching Pear Deck. So go ahead and search for Pear Deck and then scroll down and you'll see it here, Google Slides add-on. Now I've already got Pear Deck installed, but you can click here for domain install. You'll need to do this if you're teaching big groups in a school because then everyone that has the same domain as you, your students, uh, will be able to access your slides. So go ahead and download that. Now, the way you'll see that you've got it is when you go back to your slides, if you go up to add-ons, it will show up in your slides and you'll be able to open it. Okay, there we go. So you can see this is just a normal slide. This isn't interactive, but if I click at the next one, you've got this little bar down here. This is really important. Don't delete this bar. If you delete this bar, it takes out the interactive element. So leave that in. So first of all, before I show you how to work it, I'm just going to show you what it looks like from my point of view as a teacher and from the student's point of view. So when you present with Pear Deck, you don't go present normally. You have to open the Pear Deck add-on and hit start lesson. So Pear Deck's really nice because you can have a student-paced activity, which you can use for homework assignments, so they can control the presentation, but it will still be interactive. Or if you're using this in a lesson in live mode, you have to use instructor paste. So this will bring up a separate site and it will give you a link that you can give to your students. So you've got two different options for adding your students to this presentation. You can either send them to this website and give them this link and they'll have to enter it, or you can just give them a direct link. Uh, be aware that your students do need the same domain as you to access the classroom. If they're trying to access from their personal email, uh, it will say permission denied when you give them this link. So make sure they're joining with their school email. So I'm just going to copy this link and then I'm going to open my dummy account. And I'm going to join from my dummy. This is quite nice as well. It's good for your kids. They can say how they're feeling today. Okay, there we go. So if I go start class, as you go through the presentation, it will also go through on your student side. So I'm just going to put it so that you can see both of these. This is a good idea for you as well, if you want to test what they can see, because when you actually make your presentation, for example, this is an interactive slide, the student isn't going to see this. They're going to see something completely different. But when you make the slide, you can't see what they see, which is quite frustrating. So you really need to make a dummy account for this to be able to see what they're looking at. So I'd recommend you to do this as well. So take each of these windows out and then put them into a separate window. 
minimize them and then have them side by side so that you can see from your point of view and the student's point of view here. So this isn't um, an interactive slide, this is just a normal one, but if I flick through, you can see that it follows with you flicking through. Now here they have an answer question option and they can type like that. And they can add as many responses if they want. So because this isn't maximized, it looks a bit different, but if I maximize the screen again, this is what it's going to look like from your student's point of view. They can see the question and they can type a response. But I'm just going to keep it like this for now. So, and if we look here on this icon, this is your show responses. So if I maximize, you can see here that it says show responses. So I'm just going to hit that. And then you can see all of your students' responses here. Click it again to go back to your presentation and then you can move on so I'll keep going through okay again we have another interactive one so again you can answer and you can type I keep going on so it's multiple choice you can answer the question so I can say okay that one show question see so view responses and again I can view so I keep going through This one's really nice as well. You have a drawing option, which is lovely. So the student can just uh, draw their mountain there. And they can also type as well. Okay, and they can just continue like that. And again, you can hit show responses and you can see each response if you like. Okay, so that's how it works from your point of view and the student's point of view. So now I'm going to show you how to make these slides interactive. So let's just leave our slide and we'll go back. So this is already interactive. I'm just going to delete this and show you how to make it interactive. So that's gone now. So if you want to make the question interactive, you need to make sure that you have your Pear Deck add-on opened and then just scroll down and you have all your questions here. So I'm just going to write this, uh, this is just going to be a text one. So just click on that. And you can use it for your student device. At the moment you probably won't be using the classroom projector. Okay, and there you go, you've got that there. So again, don't delete it, otherwise the interaction will go. Um, if you want to make a uh, multiple choice, for example, here. So just go up to choice, click. Go next, and then you can just add your options in here. So you'll notice again, you can't see what it looks like from the student's point of view. So definitely make your dummy student so that you can see it. You've also got draggable options as well, which you can use with maps. You have a really nice drawer option. If you're teaching maps, you can use numbers, which is really nice, or you can link them to a separate website as well. And as we've already said, you can either use this live or you can link them to this um, for homework as well. So if we go back up to uh, share, again, make sure your permissions are correct. Anyone can edit, anyone can view. So let's go copy link and then go back to your Google Classroom again. And classwork. And then we can create, this can be a material, could also be a quiz as well. And then you can just add the link in there. And then post it to the correct topic. And then they can go and do that for homework. Um, be wary though that again, they need to have this add-on downloaded. If your students don't have this add-on downloaded, they won't be able to access the Pear Deck options and it won't be interactive for them. So again, before you start your lessons, make sure that they have all the same extensions downloaded as you. Okay, so that's all for Pear Deck. Join me in the next lecture where we'll be looking at interactive whiteboards that you can use. And don't forget to claim your 50% discount by clicking the link below.